In this video, we're going to be talking about how to check polynomial long division on your graphing calculator. The problem we have written out here is the first problem we saw in the video on polynomial long division that has a remainder. If we wanted to check this, we would have to multiply 5x minus 2 by 4x plus 7 plus 4 over 5x minus 2. Now the 4 over 5x minus 2 part is what makes this especially annoying to check by hand. Luckily, there's a way that we can check it on the calculator. What we can do is go to y equals, and first we'll put in our dividend, 20x squared plus 27x minus 10. Now we'll go down to y2, another line, and we're going to input our divisor times our quotient. And you have to be really careful with parentheses when you're doing this, otherwise it won't work. So we have 5x minus 2, like this is okay, and then we're going to multiply that by 4x plus 7 plus, and then we're throwing in more parentheses, 4 over more parentheses, 5x minus 2. Close the parentheses, close those parentheses again. Let's see, it's one, two, okay, and that should be enough. Now what we're going to do is hit second and go over to the table. And you see how we have all the same values for both values of y here for every value of x? That tells us that this product is equal to this polynomial. We could also look at a graph, and we're just going to see the same graph. If you see two different graphs, then you know you made a mistake and they're not equal to each other. If we go back to the table and you see any place where the values don't match up, we would know that we made a mistake. So this is another way that you can check your work without having to multiply the polynomials, especially when you have a remainder like this. Now I'll show you what it would look like if we did it incorrectly. So let me just do something like, you know, get rid of you know, a pair of parentheses, like that's a common mistake people would make that might make you think you're wrong. I'll get rid of these parentheses and now it's something completely different. So let's uh, we'll throw another one on here and now we'll go back to our table and we see that these values don't match up. So when x is 10, here y1 is 2260, here it's 2544. That would automatically mean that the product we put in is not equal to the dividend. So that's just another reason why it's very important that when you input things into the calculator, you make sure that you're using enough parentheses and you're doing it correctly. If you have questions about whether or not you're using enough parentheses, those are things you can definitely ask me during class time or during office hours.